Before I begin filming today's video, I just wanted to give a big thank you to the three fellas of Big Life Miami for shouting out my channel in their WWE Hunt video a few days ago. It really means a bunch, boys. I love your channel and I love your content. Thank you for, for shouting me out. Okay, so I was challenged by Damon Putch, and he his channel is Vintage X Collectibles. It will be right here. Um, thank you for challenging me to the small YouTuber challenge. It's my pleasure to uh, accept the challenge and do this video. So he's got 10 questions for small YouTubers. There were four other people chosen besides me. Make sure you check out their channels as well. So we'll start with question number one. What inspired you to become a YouTuber? For me, it was uh, nearly two years ago, the idea was presented to me by my nephew, my eldest nephew, Chris, who lives in Texas. At the time, I was staying with him and his uh, younger sister, while my older sister, their mother, was having their uh, baby brother, who was gonna be too soon, and I was there hanging with my older nephew and niece and they both love watching YouTube as do I and my nephew questioned oh, why do I not have a YouTube channel and he inspired and he put the gears rolling in my head to make my own channel so I give that first question credit to my eldest nephew Chris question number two what impressions do you wish for your followers to experience from your channel well, I would say what I like to transpire from all of the content that I create is a genuine reaction, real. I am uh, uh, the same way I am on camera as how I am in reality. I am not uh, doing a character. Uh, this is me. And, uh, you know, I like to give a genuine, real reaction to everything I do and upload on YouTube as well as in life. So I'm just... Not fake. Not a fan of fake. Number three, what do you wish never becomes? What do you wish to never become as a YouTuber? Uh, I just uh, never want my obsession with this hobby to overtake priorities in my life, my family, my loved ones, and and taking care of business. So. That's what I would never want to happen, is my uh, obsession for YouTube to interfere with the priorities of life. Number four, how long did it take you to reach 100 subscribers? It took me about nine months. I started this channel in October of 2016, and I didn't hit 100 subs until June of last year, so we're coming up on a year of me doing that feat um, I remember who my 100th subscriber was and it was a really big uh, awesome moment for me uh, Mike of Geeked Up my favorite toy hunting channel I'll put his channel up here Mike uh, was my 100th sub because I remember uh, hitting him up on IG and mentioning to him that was one sub away from 100 and I was uh, you know pretty excited and he said well look I'd be happy to do that for you and sure enough he immediately went to YouTube and subbed me and uh, that was a very cool moment I'll never forget thank you Mike <clears throat> number five what is your most viewed video my most viewed video is a video with me, my brother, and our friends, Michael and Wesley Dotson brothers, we uh, went to nearby, nearby Pikeville, Kentucky, it's an hour away from the town we live in, to watch WWE Live, and that was Memorial Day weekend last year, so it was nearly a year ago, and uh, that's my most viewed video, it's well over 1,500 views. Which of your videos was the biggest surprise? 
Well, I really wanted the video I just mentioned to do well, so I wasn't too shocked that it was over a thousand views. Um, I'm, I really shared it and I uh, marketed it as, as well as I could for the range that I had from my reach. However, one video that did surprise me is this year's video that the Sandman reacting to WWE Network, our video from WrestleMania from this year back in April, the Undertaker vs. John Cena video has done so well and since the algorithm has changed, our wrestling videos don't get passed around as much as they used to and I've been demonetized and I've been uh, I've, received, I've received several copyright strikes because of the WWE on my channel. Um, but that video has done very, very well, and I didn't expect it to. So in hindsight, I feel like I should have done a better job on the presentation and the editing of that video. But I kind of uploaded it uh, half-assed, kind of, I'm sad to say. So let that be a lesson to me and anyone out there when you're uploading content. Always put your best effort in that video before you upload it, you know, because you could have one that gets a tons of views and then you felt like you didn't put your best foot forward. So, number seven, which of your videos was the biggest disappointment? I don't know if I'd say disappointment, but the footage that I filmed very in the beginning of the life of my channel, um, I went to work uh, Rhode Island Comic Con, which is a huge con in uh, New England and Rhode Island, and um, it's like a hundred thousand people attend. It's a pretty big con in a very small state, but uh, from the surrounding states, people show up. So there's a lot of guests. Negan was a guest there. Stan Lee was there. Gal Gadot it was a big event. So. The videos that I filmed from that event uh, have not been viewed a lot, but then again, this is early in my channel, and my filming was not where it needed to be, and I actually cringe watching all of that stuff back now. So, in hindsight, I would have made all those little videos one complete upload, telling the whole tale of leaving Virginia, traveling to Rhode Island, working the con, and then reflecting on the experience afterwards so if I could do it over again that's how it would be and then maybe it would have been viewed more what do you feel that people overlook from your channel I think the most underutilized content on my channel and this is just my opinion is my binge therapy videos which is my movie and television reviews and that's where I give you my reactions to films and trailers and things of that nature so if it's something you watch on YouTube on television on streaming content a movie in the theater that's what binge therapy is I do have binge therapy Facebook group and it's for the same purpose it's for discussing what you're watching and why you're watching it number nine describe a time when you shared a meaningful moment with a child stepchild nephew niece etc concerning anything superhero or sci-fi related so that's a doozy of a question but it does take me back to last year when Samantha and I went on a beach vacation with our kiddos and their dad his girlfriend and her family and um, I remember after a long day of swimming and seeing stuff sightseeing and getting beat up by the heat of the sun we went to the Outer Banks North Carolina uh, we all made it back to the hotel. We were ready to crash out. We were eating pizza and we just piled up in the hotel room and we were watching Naruto, which is uh, my stepchildren's favorite anime. Uh, I would use that as the answer to that question. Number 10. Where do you see your channel in the next year? I hope to be around this time next year, uh, right at 1,000 subs, if not over it. Uh, in the meantime, I am focused on 500, which is my next milestone. I will be doing a giveaway at 500 subs. It will be two winners, and it will be open internationally. So, well, that's why I see myself in a year. Thank you, Damon, for uh, challenging me. So let me go ahead and say the names of the small channels I would like to challenge. My best friend's channel, Overkill48. Uh, my cousin in H-Town, 
Venom Fang. Uh, I would like to challenge my good buddy RC of the Cola Break channel. He's in Florida. The uh, Kryptonian Superman Abel, the, the, the Chicago Hunter, the Chi Town Hunter, my friend. And then Ricky Dones, so dope. Ricky Dones would like to challenge you as well, sir. Um, so that's it. That's my answers. Uh, very uh, happy to participate. Hope that you guys um, enjoyed my answers. I answered as honest and genuinely as I could. Appreciate you watching. Thank you for liking the video. And comment below if you have any questions or any, uh, you know, comments regarding, you know, what this video is about. So, see you guys on the next upload. Sam Man out.